today I am going to be giving you a quick flip through of January and going over what worked and what didn't and some tools that I used through the month of January and a little trick I learned because I don't have um, a pen holder. So I actually just fold the, the strap around it kind of like that and put my pen right there so that it stays put. So I really like that, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and we will jump in. Mine doesn't like to say closed because I've put so much stuff in it, which, you know, hey, the more the merrier, right? It's better when you have more things. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started on January. Now, some of this I know that you guys saw um, on my other video but I just wanted to show you January as a whole and really cover what did not work for me. Um, I am a new bullet journaler, and so this was really my first complete month, um, progressively speaking and consistently speaking. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I did is I had uh, just a vertical here because on my on my days through the month, I don't really schedule a lot of stuff outside of my working hours. Um, so in my journal, obviously, is not for my nine to five job, right? Start it. The one thing I didn't do is do like that first intro month page like a lot of people do just because I'm not super talented. And then here's my task list, which I didn't utilize too much. Here's my goals. And then this was an absolute disaster. Um, I liked the idea of tracking everything, but I only made it to like the 15th of the month. And some of these things are actually scheduled. So like here, like my 19.5 fasting days, it's every other day. And so what I found, and you'll see right here, I did three. That's not right because it was actually every other day. Um, so I was missing the line with the date because I was either trying to rush through or it was just too much, you know, um, things like that. And then I combined some of these into February, which I'll show, sh I'll show you guys that tracker just before I end this video. Um, I did start it in December and just to kind of get a feel for it. And I thought that this washi tape here, um, was kind of cool just because it references Christmassy stuff and this was the week of Christmas and then it went into some of my journaling more of my journaling and then you know my favorite little picture of my granddaughter with Santa Claus and then here due to a challenge that I did in January I was trying to track a little bit of my blood sugar and how it was affected due to what I ate or you know times of the day so that's what that is these were notes on from the challenge I was doing. And this is the actual challenge. So I printed this out and I just taped it in here so that I had an, a, a reference every time I needed it. And it laid out, you know, the date and, and what meal I ate. And you can see it was very limited to these meals here for the month. And just FYI, I lost 11.8 pounds and about 20 inches total. So this works and I'm continuing it in February. Uh, this was the first week in January and I was trying to make this page to be, you know, kind of concurrent to this and that didn't really work. So I, I didn't do that again after this. Um, I utilize these little tabs here they're this little post-it note tabs and you can see I've got February's marked and then my blog stuff back here um and I was I marked every week but it was too many so this time I'm, I'm probably not going to do that I found a different way to kind of label the weekly spread and I'll show you guys that on my next video but um and then here was the week there was my weight on January 2nd along with my measurements and that was my weight and measurements on January 27th so I've gone down all the way to 170 already so I lost 11 11.4 11 pounds but so that was from that and then this was just a journal page and then I stuck this in here because a friend of mine had made it for me it's really pretty 
I love corses and, and hearts and I just thought it was gorgeous and I had had it on my bathroom mirror and it was starting to kind of get icky from the moisture so I put it in here and then this page was sort of like what my ideal day looks like for my my YouTube channel, for my blog, for researching, for actually writing, um, when I want to, you know, film my videos, when I want my videos to be posted, things like that. So this is, this is new and I'm trying to incorporate that. Um, and it went from that to somehow I missed these two pages and I'm not really sure. I was thinking about putting monthly photos here, but I think I'm going to put it on some another spot that I missed. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these ones. Um, and then here's another weekly spread. This was the 5th to the 11th. And then these are appointments. So these are things that are actually on my calendar. These are things I knew I needed to do, like maybe phone calls or send an email. These are basic. These coincided with these. So they went together um, on some of them. I didn't move all of them here. Just some of them I wanted to just make sure I didn't forget. And then I kind of use this for a note section for ideas from different videos that I watched for spreads. This was a little box to say that I was waiting on something, but I actually just ended up using it for bills that I paid. And then this was the weekend, anything I wanted to do over the weekend. And that was a little habit tracker that I put in here because I knew that other one wasn't quite working for me. Um, and this didn't quite work either. And then here is more journaling. And then I was playing with my Tombows. These are all the ones I've got currently. Other, And then, I mean, I have the white, um, the mixer, color mixer one. And I have some drawing pens and calligraphy pens. But I utilize these for this. And I just wanted to see how these colors kind of would move together. And I just wanted some creative that day. But this is the page that had a lot of bleed through from the markers and I am utilizing the Lechem 1917. Um, so next time when this journal is empty, I think I'm gonna try a different one with a heavier paperweight. But I do love this journal because the pages are light and I really like that, but I don't like this. And when I wanna add color, I want to be able to add color. So I think here I'm gonna put the photos, my favorite pictures that were taken through the month of January. This was my favorite weekly spread. Um, I did Dutch doors. I actually have another video on how I did this and what I did. Um, I will link it below, but it really took a lot of work and a lot of time, probably also because this was my first time ever doing it, but I really enjoyed this one. Uh, this is kind of like a little secret door that I kind of just put my gratitude and my goals um, these were goals that I knew I wanted to complete in January. Those were my priorities. And then when I was working over here on, say, a, one of these days, and I needed to remember to do something, I could quickly just write it on the don't forget. So that was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then anything for next week. And then here I did more ideas for spreads that I wanted to track through February. I printed this out online and I just copied it. And then here was another habits and my tasks. I kind of liked this idea, but it didn't, I, I couldn't quite get it to fit or work the way I wanted to. So I kind of, I didn't finished using it and then these I didn't have time unfortunately really to get to any of that and then that was more um personal personal journaling um a lot of people say you know why don't you use your bullet journal for personal journaling journaling well I am one who does and I do quite often um I had however I really messed up because I went way ahead of myself I think it was week two of January and I made the February calendar which was not a very smart thing because I ended up having to put two weeks on on just one um, spend in, in my book and I didn't I didn't like it. I didn't I didn't use it at all, as you can tell. So that gets us over into February. So I wanted to I did want to show you really quickly just the habit tracker that I switched over to for to utilize is this. So these are habits and I laid it as habits that I want and what I wish I had 
wrote this smaller and put habits that I will achieve because I like to, one thing I'm working on is making sure that when I write goals and dreams, I'm writing it as if it's already happened. Um, and pardon the noise behind I'm playing Pandora. So these are things that I want to work on. And the shaded means it's scheduled. Like, so obviously I want eight hours of sleep every night. I would like to be awake by that time, Monday through Friday. Um, I only make, gave myself four days to journal, although I journal more often than that. Gym, yoga, days I'm fasting, coordinating with the days that I take my vitamins because I do not take all of my vitamins on my fasting days. And if you want to know why you shouldn't do that, I'll try to find the video from Thomas DeLauer and link that below. I am a vapor, unfortunately, and this is something I'm trying to get rid of. Um, I listen to ebooks every day. I do not want to spend any money in February outside of my immediate obligations and our family fun nights, which this is not yet completed. And then this I thought would be fun for my whys and my goals. You know, why do I want to do these things? Um... I thought it'd be fun just to draw these circles and put them in there. So I'm going to draw some more circles as, and as we go, I'll add them in. So there we go. That is it for my January spread. I used this crafter's tape from Amazon. My plain old Sharpies, I absolutely love them. If you let your ink dry a few minutes, you can highlight with this stuff and it does not uh, bleed or spread or whatever you want to call it. My Tombos, I did not have all of these. I only actually had three of them until I got my Tombow VIP box, and I will link that below. I ended up getting, um, I had this one, this one, and this one. No, these three. These three. These are the only three that I had through January. Because I, well, up until the last couple of days was when I got all of those, and I got these, which I... I absolutely fell in love with. Um, they're all in different sizes. And before I got those, I was using these. The Micron Pigma, which I absolutely love for different things. So I guess it depends on what I am doing in my journal, on what pen I'm going to use. So, oh, and my little post-it note tabs. I think... That is it, other than I do have a thing with these um, colored pencils that I got on Amazon, and I got these things on Amazon last year when I first started kind of giving the idea of bullet journaling. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any videos that you would like me to, to, to talk about, something you guys want me to try. I'm not super creative when it comes to themes for months. So if you guys have any ideas of a theme that should be done, please drop it below in the comments and let me know. I would love to give it a shot. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Again, my name's Kelly. Welcome to my channel. This is called Morning Adore. And if there's anything that you guys need, let me know. Have a great one.